Magnum Nutraceuticals is the official supplement partner of Wellness in the Multiverse. They are the only supplements I trust because everything is done with integrity. Not to mention, the formulas are backed by science and they only use the highest quality ingredients. Whether you're looking for 100% isolate protein powder, your favorite daily vitamin performance pack, or a complete pre-workout, Magnum has it covered. Shop Magnum at magnumsoup.com and use my code JOGANGI to save. Hello and welcome to Wellness in the Multiverse. My name is Jonathan and this is a show where we look at your favorite superheroes and their lifestyle. How would they achieve their level of fitness? What kind of workout do they have to do to improve and keep saving worlds? We cover everything from fitness, food, stress and so much more to bring you the most accurate health journey of your heroes. Now let's look at all of it. Welcome to the uh, second episode and thank you for for listening. Thank you for those who listened to the first one as well. Thanks for those who participated into our giveaway. Very nice of you guys and, and share with your friends and share with the people you think might enjoy talking about fitness and talking about superheroes. Um, yeah, thanks a lot guys. So today I wanted to look at Marvel as much as DC. Gotta be equal somehow. That's why I look at characters that had a similar profile. I went with Iron Man and Lex Luthor. They are both quite similar. One is a genius billionaire playboy philanthropist. Yep. While the other one is a genius billionaire evil villain. They both are geniuses with deep, 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 deep pockets. One is an Avenger that put his brain to serve the world and save it from overpowered being, while the other one is driven by his hate of Superman. You just understand that he can beat him physically, so he built himself a suit to do that. Yeah, there's a big iteration in the uh, comics that Lex Luthor builds himself a huge suit, uh, kind of similar to the one that Iron Man has, but no helmet. He has to see his face, you know, that's just his ego. And also are mystical characters because they also have a similar profile as a body type. We'll look into that. But Doctor Strange in the Marvel Cinematic Universe and Doctor Fate are also very similar in a lot of ways. They are both using mystical art and taking energy to repurpose it in different ways, traveling through space, time, multiverses, creating spells to help or hurt, depending on who's on the other side of them. By the way, we will have the chance to see Dr. Fate in Black Adam. He's in a trailer and he looks completely badass, if you ask me. He takes his power from his helmet. Uh, if you did not know, and can see the fate of anyone except his own. He will probably have the Kent Nelson backstory. That's just like a big parenthesis on who Dr. Fate is. And if you want to see what it would look like, right, just go look at the Black Adam trailer. They also live in similar environments, except that the Tower of Dr. Fate looks way less fun and much more lonelier. Then the big uh, question, the elephant in the room here is why? Why look at them? They don't seem to care for the fitness, cardio, food, whatever, all of that. And you would be right. They don't. That's the why. That's why I wanted to look at characters that need less of their physical aspect to fight and live much more like us. Doesn't seem like we need 250 pounds of muscle to live. We don't. We need to be healthy, um, that's for sure. They are all humans too, which is a big plus, without any power at first. Well, they built themselves power or acquired them through the mystical art. The reality is that they probably don't work out a lot. I would not want to be their trainers. They probably cancel way too often. I'm too busy. I need to save the world. I'm going to cancel today. And you just end up wasting an hour. Nonetheless, let's look at what I think they should do in order to improve and, who knows, get better. Maybe if Doctor Strange gets stronger, faster, he can defeat bigger enemies. If he blocks with a spell, who knows? If he is stronger, maybe he can block a bigger spell. Well, that could be fun. So what about their size? They are all very similar in sizes. So we'll just average it. 
they all are around six foot one, 185 centimeters, and 210 pounds, 91 kilos. Doctor Strange is the skinniest at 180 pounds in the comic. Still, let's just put them at 6'1", 200 pounds, because they are, as I said, they are all like 6'2", 225, 6'1", 215. So yeah, let's just go with 6'1", and 200 pounds. They have a BMI of 26.6. They would be considered overweight. I'm sorry, that's what it is. So I don't believe they are. I don't believe they are overweight. So that's where I think they pack on some muscle under those suits. They are superheroes after all. For for the gear, obviously, we have, you know, um, Dr. Fate has his helmet, might weigh a couple pounds there, need a big neck. I don't know, some kind of F1 driver types of uh, workout might be uh, might be in the in the mix for him. Dr. Strange has his cape. Well, that flies on itself, so he'll be fine with that. And we have Lex Luthor and Iron Man that both have a huge suit. We'll get back on the weight of that suit. So what about stress? We do know that stress is very important. Stress is a very big factor in your fitness. We've talked about it in the first episode with Thor. Just go back to that if you didn't uh, listen to it. But, I mean, the stress of it all must be unbearable. One is protecting Earth, one is trying to destroy Superman and plot for, the, for his world domination on a daily basis. The other two have the weight of the multiverse on their shoulder. If you think your job is stressful, well, try one of these. Ever try to stay focused enough to hold down a river of water while a raging war against Thanos is happening? Me neither nor do I wish to do it. While cortisol, stress, adrenaline is important at certain moment in life, we do know that stress at certain moment is important to have, constantly living in that zone is very bad. Good thing is our mystical characters have learned to master their focus and breath to get in a calming space that allows them to function and use their power properly. It's a huge skill to have. If you never read the book Breath by James Nestor, I highly recommend that. There's one trick I learned from that book that I try to apply and you can do as well. I'm not saying you'll be able to figure out time travel or open portals. It would be cool, but that's not a point. But it's worth the shot. Who knows? It says that meditation is just focusing on our breath. So take a minute when you feel like you are getting overwhelmed, you can do that everywhere, anytime, no one will know. Breathe in for four seconds, then breathe out for six seconds, repeat six times, so it's a minute. Who doesn't have a minute? If you don't have a minute to do that, we need to figure out something there. It will slow down your heart rate and calm you. You can do it now. I won't know. Try it. So with stress, with everything, yeah, it's a big factor in all of that. I don't think Lex Luthor loses sleep over his endeavors. Um, he's a villain, so he doesn't give a crap too much. Unless Superman is involved, he's not too stressed about any of it. So yeah, he's, he's probably just the one that sleeps very well, even though a bunch of people died because of him. Iron Man probably uses a lot of melatonin to sleep. I'm just saying that now and putting it out there because he has a lot to figure out. We don't see him sleep too often. There's a reason for that because I don't think he does sleep that much. He tries to figure out so much stuff. It's kind of insane the things he can build. I mean, we didn't even figure out one suit. He figured out 50 of them plus Spider-Man. Oh, my God. So, yeah, I don't think he sleeps very much. Doctor Strange, Doctor Faith is, well, as I said, multiverse and everything, but they meditate a lot. I'm pretty sure they're going to deep sleep. And Doctor Strange has figured out a way to relax his body while his mind is reading and studying. Not too bad. They don't have to have the same shoulder mobility as Thor has, for example. Yet they need a lot so they don't get injured, obviously. They are human, so they break easy. 
they clearly need to make sure they are flexible enough to fall without hurting themselves. That's probably one of their training, just learning how to fall. You can do that. There's tips and tricks. I'm not a pro. I'm not telling you now fall from the second flight of stairs and don't hurt yourself. No. But I know that there are tricks and tips outside and online that you can learn to fall uh, without injuring yourself. So there's, yeah, there's that. So I'm sure it's in their workouts, just learning how to fall without breaking anything. Yet they don't have to be able to do a split. They're not Spider-Man. They will get punched and they will fall. That's just the bulk of it. The suit for Iron Man and Lex, obviously, Tony Stark. If you didn't know, I don't think I've said that Iron Man's name is Tony Stark, but you knew that. The suit will take most of the hit, obviously. That's why it's there. But it might hurt anyway. We should look into how much of the force they get hit by. If I put myself in a tin can and you hit the can, it's going to hurt. Do they have airbags? Diverging. Back to mobility. It's very simple. There's a ton of app that can help you do the same. Even YouTube videos. Use your Netflix time to stretch. You can use the Nike Training Club app to find a mobility workout. It's not a sponsor, but still, Nike, you can call me. I would take the call. So even though mobility is not where they put most of their time, I'm sure they have a yoga class somewhere in there. I'm sure they stretch. I mean, they probably are sore from fighting. They still need that little flexy, flexy body just again to make sure they don't get hurt. So what about their diet? We saw their size, 6'1", 210 pounds, which means that with a moderately active lifestyle, I don't think they fight crime five days a week. Their job is pretty relaxed. Lots of thinking, sitting, and reading. Still, they are big. It means they would need around 2,900 calories a day in order to sustain their body. So if they, for example, want to bulk up, it's winter season, it's no fighting season. If they just want to bulk up a bit, they would go probably around 3,400 calories in order to do it. We're looking at around 200 grams of protein in order for them to sustain their body, sustain their muscles, and in all of it. Again, way less calories than Thor needs at 4,600, I believe it was. So 2,900 calories is the amount they need on a daily basis. They would need convenience. That's easy for the wealth of Tony Stark and Lex Luthor. Hire a chef. Let them do the rest. That's it. Done move on. Maybe the Sanctum Sanctorium, by the way, that's hard to say, where Doctor Strange lives has a chef on staff. That could be cool. Let's just go with the next obvious idea though, meal prep. So let's figure, let's just say that all of them and no, Lex Luthor doesn't meal prep and no, Tony Stark doesn't meal prep. But let's just assume they do for the sake of the argument. Let's look at it easy and try to hit a balanced day with those 200 grams of protein again convenience easy that's the goal of it i would go with what i do now an overnight oats just because convenience and easiness uh, so overnight oats in the morning with protein powder fruits etc all of that in you can put um you can put those Chia seeds, a bunch of stuff in there, protein milk. Basically, the base is oats and protein powder, and the rest is up to your taste. So that could be an easy 940 calories and 66 grams of protein around there. Again, an easy one. Lunch, around 200 grams of ground beef, 100 grams of sweet potatoes. I don't include vegetables in all of that. We I, I hope we do understand that there are vegetables everywhere at this point. So 100 grams of sweet potatoes. So again, 460 calories around there. Um, dinner, chicken breast, 200 grams, vegetables and some quinoa, 300 calories of quinoa. You can prepare the uh, chicken however you like. We're not looking at the calories in a sauce 
in that example. And at 2,900 calories, the amount of calorie that you have in your, in your condiment is, is minimal. They probably will lose that very easily. So they need 1,200 calories from snacks and 50 grams of protein out of those snacks. That's somewhat easy. One smoothie with fruits and scoops in a scoop of protein, bunch of nuts because it's easy to have, efficient, calorie dense, Greek yogurt, protein bar, more fruits, making things easy to get when you're in the middle of fine tuning your arm piston to hit harder. That's probably a big goal of all of them. Uh, I mean, while, you know, Tony Stark is just fine tuning his piston to make sure that his arm moves faster so it hits harder. Well, Doctor Strange and Doctor Fate are just practicing some types of new spell or exploding the multiverse open. Who knows? Let's just say that they will also allow cheap meals. That's a given. It's not doing any damage to them if they are sticking with the routine normally. So let's just go with the fact that weekends for Tony Stark is well at least used to be before before paper pots, but weekends our party, <laughs> probably. Um, Lex has events uh, to put out, so lots of food and alcohol from those events, I'm pretty sure. And Doctor Strange and Doctor Faith, well, I don't know what they do on a Friday night. Uh, I don't know if they, if they have Netflix, but they are probably just reading and practicing because they are very serious people. Now let's look at the workouts. Again, Let's reiterate that they don't care as much as the other ones. Lex probably is the one that would take it more seriously. His ego and inferiority complex to Superman would take over. So I'm pretty sure he tries to bench press as much as Superman. Put on more. Superman can do it. I can. No, you can't. Also, Iron Man has a heart condition, but... As long as his arc reactor is functioning, it'll be fine. Don't tell me you can't do squats when you just went around against Thor. There's no way I will believe it. Oh, and also, I'm very certain that Tony Stark, for sure, maybe Lex, but for sure Th Tony Stark, went once in the gym with his suit on and tried to deadlift the max he could. He just wanted to test out the suit. That's for sure. He just went in, this, went in the gym. The trainer was there just waiting, being like, what are you doing, man? Well, let's test the suit out. Let's put some weight on that bar. And he went for it until the suit collapsed. And then he added stuff and collapsed it again and added stuff and collapsed it again. And that, that's, that's Tony Stark. I'm sure he did that. Okay, back, back to uh, the workouts. So why Stark or Lex must be strong, functional, and fit I looked it up and found out that the Iron Man suit is around 200 pounds. It's safe to assume that Lex has the same type of problems. Sure, the suit can help lowering the weight. It, it's holding on itself. I don't know, add a piston or grease the elbows. I don't know. But still, take 30 pounds of grocery for a walk. You need a bit of fitness. Our mystical heroes don't have the same issues but they can still have the same types of workouts nonetheless. I don't think it would matter in that in that difference. And let's just go ahead and say that they don't bother doing bicep curls. It's not what they do. They just are in and out as fast as possible most of the time on their phone, and they just need to make sure that they have done all the important stuff, and that is it. As they are humans, they have the same equipment as we do. Well, maybe more. The Avengers Bunker probably has everything you need to work out with professional on hand. By the way, if they need a trainer, I volunteer. Not for legs. We would not see eye to eye. Again, efficiency is the key. So maximum three workouts a week with some cardio days. They don't go for more than that. They don't work out every day. With three workouts a week, and in case they only do two in some weeks, or even one, I would go with a split of one day is upper body and the other day is just lower body, and you alternate them, obviously. A week could look like that. We'll keep a classic routine of three sets and 
10 to 12 reps. Monday is day one, so lower body. We need to kick the cardio. We need to kick everything in that workout. So obviously the big, the big boy, the squats, uh, thrusters is going to put that cardio up a notch. Uh, kettlebell swings, tire flips, and the holy grail of just holding onto your suit all day long might just be the farmer's carry. It's a great one to try, by the way. Just take a walk with your weights. Tuesday is light cardio and recovery. So meditation, reading, figuring out how to kill Superman, you know, normal stuff. Wednesday is upper body. Upper body, we could go with weighted chin-ups, uh, wide grip deadlift, bench press, heavy plank. So just doing a plank with uh, something on their back. I don't think Dr. Strange or Dr. Fade would need to do a heavy plank, but Iron Man and Lex might just for the fact that they have a suit to hold on to. So you need a strong core to do it. Bent over rows, power clean. Again, it's just finishing up with something that will kick that cardio in just a notch and do a whole body functional movement in there. Friday is repeat of Monday with some types of different exercise in there. Saturday and Sunday are free. We'll let them save or conquer the world depending on what they prefer. So that's it, guys. That's my take on Iron Man, Lex Luthor, Dr. Fate and Dr. Strange. If you have anything to add or you want to geek out about all of it, send me a message. I'll be happy to answer any question. Obviously, they are a very different breed of superhero. Even though they are humans, it uh, doesn't change the fact that they mostly rely on their brains and mostly rely on their superpowers some human superheroes would have a very different approach to fitness we'll look at all of that later probably with the bat family so batman nightwing bat girl all of them stay tuned and thanks guys for for being here thank you so much for listening if you want to know more about how i can help you make fitness a sustainable lifestyle you can reach out to me on any social media platform at joe Gangi trainer thanks again until next time.